have a good day and welcome you to another wonderful class. Today we'll be looking at office practice, that is the subject for SS1 students. And uh, the topic for today is public enterprise. You can see it, public enterprise. In our previous class, we looked at corporate society, we defined corporate society. We look at merit and the merit of corporate society, and we also wait for that look at the history of corporate society. And in addition, we look at the types of cooperative society. Today we are looking at a different topic entirely, which is public enterprise. In some books, they call it public cooperation. This you have done in your GSS2. And now we are doing it again. So let's look at our learning objectives to define public enterprise. Second one, to discuss the future of public enterprise and also to also explore some functions of public enterprise in Nigeria. In Nigeria. Let me first one, public enterprise. These are businesses owned, controlled, managed and financed by the government. And a typical example of it is NEPA. NEPA. In those days, I would call NEPA. I also have what we call the post office. Most and uh, all post offices in Nigeria, remember I about in Nigeria now, in Nigeria, are owned, managed, and financed by the government. Telecommunication, NITEL. These are what I've done in your justice too. NITEL is owned by the government. CBN is owned by the government. The police, the army, the navy, the air force. They, are, they all fall under public enterprise. And these are simple examples of public enterprise you can find in Nigeria. Also, the second one, to discuss the future of public enterprise. Number one, it is owned by the government. Number two, it is financed by the government. Three, managed by the government. And the government are the one that dictate what happens to the enterprise. For they sell their goods in a very reduced price. They are also formed to assist the citizens. They provide essential facilities and services to the citizenry. Let's go further by looking at to explore the functions of it. The functions of it are also they provide strategic goods. For example, now it's not everybody that can mint or print money. It's the function of the public enterprise in Cook now, the central bank to do that. It's not everybody that can pro provide or produce the uniform of the military. Now it's the duty of the public enterprise to do that. It's not everybody that can construct main road or stadium or the railway. It is the responsibility of the public enterprises or I have said earlier on the public corporation to do that. So in our subsequent classes we'll be looking at public enterprises. Your class starts, your start activity are also available for you to go through. As I've said earlier on, I would prefer if you solve your class starts on this Google Doc. YouTube materials have also been sent to you. Go to them. Scan materials have also been sent to you. Go to them. And I would better if you send in or turn in your class starts on time. Thank you for listening and God bless you.